My name is William Mack, and I'm the incident commander of the event. Burning Man is a highly complex event that got a million different moving parts and pieces, um, a lot of different coordination that has to go on in order to make it work, and it's a great thing when you can bring together both civilian operations and LE operations uh, and make it work for a successful event. Chief. Medical unit leader. I'm the OPR chief. I'm a day shift dispatcher. But we do have two different missions. Uh, I mean, BLM, and I don't want to speak for them, but they're here to take care of the public lands, mm -hmm. and we're here to support the local and state laws. And uh, again, both sides are here for the public safety. You know, and our job is to go after those folks who are trying to put a damper on everyone else's good time up here. You know, so I look at us as the guardians of you know having fun out here at the Burning Man event. And my part is more meetings. So we, we you <laughs> oh know, you you get meeting man. We call it meeting man, just like Black Rock City officials call it. Yep. This is like my fourth or fifth meeting today. And we have an awesome relationship with Black Rock Rangers, uh, and, and we continue to develop that. off of all the fallen officers from last year, Birdie Man 2015. Uh, whether they've been killed in line of duty by a gunshot, so on and so forth. The one thing I want to really impress upon people is they had families. They had brothers, sisters, moms, dads, just like you all. And we care about all you guys, and we care about our brothers and sisters. And again, I, I want to again thank you for coming out and sharing. This thank you again, Paragon, for having us. You know, I agree with Nate. You know, you hear law enforcement. You know, it's, it's a position, right? Like construction. The difference is, law enforcement officers. We put our lives at risk for all of you. We don't know you, but we would gladly sacrifice our lives for you guys. That's what we signed up to do. Sheriff Martin Sturgill, Humphreys County Sheriff's Office. Amazing amount of human creativity. One thing I would like to say is that the talent and the imagination of the artists is exquisite. Been to six of these events, and every year they get better. Make sure it's run better than the other ones. Eleanor Taylor. I get to talk to people all day long because I like to talk. Michael Grimes, and I'm an IT specialist. <laughs> all of the time before the very mat. Very many things for all of the Elon well, And there, there's a whole educational compound over there. It's not just there's there's a police station on Esplanade. It, there's a lot more too. Because the BLM does a lot more than just policing the event, for example. Well, the, B, the BLM does, you know, or multiple use agency. There, there's a lot of different functions within it. So next to 515 in Esplanade, next to the Mobile Command, there's a BLM Interpretive Center. I believe they're going to be coming on the radio at least a little bit later on in this event. The creatures that live in the Black Rock, you've just now mentioned the fairy shrimp. The fairy shrimp who, who uh, lay their eggs in the playa in that uh, season when there's standing water, they hatch and provide uh, food for migratory birds. We do have to be aware of the fact that we are actually in a, in a conservation Well, no, it's a permitted activity in okay. the National Conservation Area. Um, through the use of something called a special recreation permit. I like meeting all the different people. I think it's fun. Burning Man is a life experience. I thought you could prepare for it, but there's nothing you can do to mentally prepare for Burning Man. Paul Zovitz, I'm on the Environmental Compliance Team. John Kurtz, I'm on the Environmental Compliance Team. Mark Pertle, I'm the uh, Civilian Branch Operational Chief. 2016 
Black Rock City's Earth Guardians are going to uh, accomplish environmental uh, compliance. That is, they'll be out in the mornings um, visiting with uh, participants within the city, looking for environmental issues that may affect the playa. Um, BLM's role in 2016 will be to ensure the success of that program. And what we were planning to do, and what this, what our whole strategy here is built around, is, is basically waiting until green spots start appearing on the map, and then going out in the field and checking on them. And I expect with your eight teams, they're they're going to start slow tomorrow, but I expect they'll speed up quite a bit by the time they're done with both shifts tomorrow. These rolling around in Kubotas that are kind of plain clothes, you know, and they're looking for stuff as well. So just be advised if you're out there and you're standing there over a big gray water skip spill and someone rolls up on a Kubota and comes up, they may identify themselves as a Scooby-Doo that are part of the Leave No Trace team. But otherwise, we're noticing fuel improperly stored. And you guys travel around together? Yeah. There's always a unit, so one. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right now, I took a picture with my personal cell phone. And um, actually, it was one of my vendors. So I phoned him up and said, hey, you're missing a cap. And your renters can't get into the RV either. So I gave the uh, the actual person that rented the RV my cell phone number and said, hey, will you call me? And they said they would totally report back to me. Burning Man is a legitimate use of public land because the public land users have spoken and said they want to use their public land for the Burning Man event.